It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Something, something, cookies, or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait. What happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. Aw, uh, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush, wearing your clothes. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a... Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. But yeah, we're old friends. Embarrassingly old friends. Like, we should have found better people to hang out with by now. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you know it? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. <sighs> Fine, just hold the camera out. Like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex. You brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, 
Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> Okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, uh what could you possibly have to say that Ren can't hear? It's not like that. It's nothing, really. It's just something I want to talk to you about super fast, that's all. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's... No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's fun. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Well, how do you think I feel? My house just shrunk by half because my mom decided to get some in Florida. <laughs> no, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the bed. Well, we didn't... We didn't actually set it up for you. It's kind of kitschy. Right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. 
Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what? Like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. But maybe I heard wrong. Ah, you know what? It's all right. I, I don't need to hear it. We can maybe come back later. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Really? That's kind of gross. Yeah, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look. There must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Wait, we're not allowed here after dark? So, like, what's our plan if we get caught? We won't! I had to promise Karen I'd shovel her driveway all winter, so she just looked the other way. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her... Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, oh, Jonas is just nervous about moving in with this. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah, everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas, everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> that's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah, um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but she's... are you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. 
And, uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime, in her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth whoever truthed up. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I wanna hear his answer. Okay, that's... <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... Mm -hmm. Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now just say no. so. No! I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... Let's ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something? Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Ren, I don't really feel like playing, if that's all right. Oh, come on. You're pretty much standing in the prayer circle. I'll ease you in with a softball. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically, so he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not gonna call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait, wait, that means you'd kill me? Out of everyone here, your best friend. Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I say. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite? Um, 
Nona. <laughs> yes. All right. So, does Clarissa ever do anything that just like really annoys the crap out of you? <laughs> Think carefully now. Um, you sometimes tap your nails on things when you're uh, bored. <laughs> what? I barely. <laughs> I knew there had to be something. Okay, all right, huzzah, you got me. Let's just get on with it. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A better question would be, what would she get when the artist refused to draw two dogs eating a dead baby on her forehead? I'd get, like, a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, uh... Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so... Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, okay, I... just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce, just that Alec- You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- Let's not stop like this. We should, like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could get... And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish... You be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, but... I'm very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, oh, I'll push you over. Oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Whenever you're ready. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, so, he, uh... So, the cave. Uh, What's your went bets? To that on a scale carnival? of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? A one? Renz pulled me into a closet to look at a broom he swore looked like Abraham Lincoln, so adjust your expectations accordingly. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. 
Well, you can make the checks out to cash. We'll have an installment plan. Whatever it takes. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Oh, you're the only one? Gimme. <laughs> oh, no. These are just for me. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Kind of. I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. If you want to bring it on over. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Satanic. Not what I was going to say. But close enough. Wait, what was that? There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. If it's a pool, <laughs> that'd be cool. Oh, boy. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think... I think I mismeasured the magic. I...
Seriously, where are you? Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Why did you run off ah, without waiting for Jesus, me? Jesus, you scared me. What are you even doing? I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. Isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um... Yes. It must be like a... like a rainbow, or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Uh, maybe? Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I 
think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? This is insane. I... I don't know what... Listen. Bob tail. Shave. Tail. Sleeping. Time. Time. Yeah. So, I can't... Bob Tail. Leave, children. Bye. Others. See you soon. soon. Alex! What? <laughs> <laughs> 